what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video it won't be long i just need to get some things off my chest i just need to express myself i just need y'all to give me some tips and some advice for once i need you guys to fill my cup i need you guys to pour into me i need some motivation so as we all know i sorry y'all i played around in microbiology i did not i'm not even gonna really say i played around that first exam i didn't study for i didn't prepare for it that was that that was me 100 percent on me i blame no one for my shortcomings my second exam hell i thought i did good on it and i just didn't and my third exam is coming up and you guys i am studying um i do feel like i know you know some of the information of course i don't feel like i know all of the information because i'm studying as i go i'm progressing as i go and i'm getting better as i go my test is wednesday at one not this not tomorrow next wednesday at one and you guys i am so nervous it's like no matter how many times i go to the gym no matter how many times i do anything to relieve the nerves or the stress they're not going anywhere they're like staying and at this point i don't know what to do like what can i do to ease my nerves and let me tell you why I'm so nervous, just in case you haven't watched any of my other videos. And this is the first video you see <laughs> from my channel, which I hope it's not. If I don't get at least 100 out of 180 and 100 on my paper, the paper is due, of course, before the exam. The paper is actually due this week, and I'm going to do my best to get every single little bitty point I can get. But if I don't get, so if I get 100 on this paper, and then all I need is 100 on my final. If I get an 80 on this paper, I need 140 out of 180. It just goes up from there. And it's just like, to pass this class, that's what the bare minimum. So if I get 100 on my paper and like a 160 on my final, I can still finish the class with a B. But I'm just like so nervous, y'all. I am a bag of freaking nerves. I've never done something like this before. Like I've never had to do something in a class in order to pass the class, if that makes sense. I've never had to do that. I've never ever had to do that. I always be excelling in my classes to the point where even if I didn't do great on the final, it might lower my grade, but I wasn't gonna fail the class. This is my first time being in this predicament and I tell myself, you know, like, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. You got this. You got this. But I'm nervous. I'm nervous. And I really do believe I got this. But at the same time, I'm like, are you overconfident? Are you too confident that you have this? Like, I don't feel like I'm trying enough. I'm telling y'all, I go to the gym listening to my lectures. I be in a store. People be looking at me. I'm listening to my lectures. I'm in I'm in the car driving listening to my lectures like I'm I'm trying to get it y'all I'm trying to get everything I can get I'm going to every exam review like I'm just I'm I'm trying but I don't know I feel like I'm not doing enough like I don't, I've never had this happen to me and I honestly don't ever 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 want to do it again and I say that to say, I don't know if I already told y'all this. I probably have, don't be like me. Don't make the same mistakes as me. Don't do the same dumb stuff as me. Don't procrastinate. Don't have poor time management. I'm too scrapping for myself, but don't be like me. Don't underestimate a class. Don't get a negative attitude about a class. Tune all that out. Like, stop asking people what a class is like because I really feel like that's what's happening with me with this class. I got so scared of the class that I, I got it in my head that... I don't know what I got in my head. We're going to put it like that. But now, not that it's bad that I, I I have to get 100 out of 180 to pass the class. Because I'm claiming 100 on my paper. I can write a paper and I'm going to write this paper and hit every key point and make sure I have no mistakes. And make sure I italicize any names or things like that that I need to italicize. I'm going to do this paper to the best of my abilities. And I'm going to study to the best of my abilities. And I'm going to go to every exam review, like I just told y'all. But I'm still, like, just so nervous. Because, like, you can study the information. But what when, What if when I take the quiz, the test, 
the questions are like wow and out there there's 30 multiple choice five matching three fill in the blank four 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 fill in the blank and then three essay questions on this test and i plan to take the entire two hours that she gives us the entire two hours that she gives us to take this test i just i just i don't i just want to pass i don't i and i i really wish my grade was stronger i really wish i would have did better on my second test hell i wish i would have did better on my first test but honestly you guys i didn't normally i'm trying to see what's the lowest grade i can get on my final and fail the class and it's a really low grade that i knew i wouldn't get now i've made so out of 120 i've made a 60 out of 120 on just about every test in this class and so 90 out of 180 would make me fail the class like i wouldn't pass the class if i got a 90. that's getting half of it right i've been getting half of everything right nothing completely right so like i'm just a bag of nerves you guys like i'm just a bag of nerves and i'm trying to shake it i'm trying to shake it i'm told y'all i'm watching videos i'm watching classes hell i'm doing some everything i'm i bought a dry erase board today i'm writing stuff down i'm color coordinating my notes i got pictures i'm reading i'm studying and i'm just nervous do I think I'm going to fail? Absolutely not. Because I'm doing everything in my power not to fail. I just really want the nerves to go away. Like, I walk around all day feeling like my stomach is in my ass. Like, most people are like, they're not ready for this final. They don't want it to come. That's what most people are saying. I'm so nervous, y'all. I'm ready for that month to come and go. Like, I'm ready to take it, pass it, and move on to my next class and enjoy my spring break. Will I enjoy my spring break if I fail micro? Absolutely not. I know I won't. I'll be too busy mad about failing micro or having to retake micro and, and things like that. So, I just, I don't know. I feel like I have so much riding on this class. I love my cohort and I love the people that I'm in class with. And I want to stay in class with them and I want to graduate with them. I don't want to be a month behind them because this will put me a month behind them. I don't want to be a month behind them. I want to be right there with them when they walk. And this is my fault. I say again, this is my fault. But that's why I'm studying so hard for this test. Sometimes I just need to vent, y'all. I, I mean, if you have advice on how I can manage my stress and you guys can tell me how to handle this, give me some. Because right now I'm just, I'm stressing about an exam that I'm studying. I'm in a good mental space. I just, I don't know y'all. I just, I'm scared to fail. Like, I don't think it's a game. I don't think it's a joke. I know I had to buckle down. I know I had to get on my stuff in order to be successful in this class and be great in this class. And I'm gonna continue to go to the exam reviews. And I'm gonna continue to do everything that I've been doing. I just, why can't I do it and not be nervous? When the day of the test comes, I don't want to be nervous and so nervous to the point where I choke on my test, you know? So I'm trying to get the nerves under control. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could tell me how to get my nerves under control because right now I'm just nervous and studying. I mean, is, am I going to get my nerves under control? Let me know, guys. Like, am I always going to be this nervous? I'm, I'm never really nervous before exams. I'm not. And I have today, so tomorrow's Wednesday, and then we have another review on Friday. And, like, Saturday and Sunday, I plan to have everything done so that all I'm doing is studying, 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 studying. I haven't done much work today. I won't lie. I've been working on my study guide. I said I was going to do some work. But I've been working on knocking out my study guide, and I I gotta get it, y'all. I don't I don't want my girl to be one of the classes that I have to retake or anything. I gotta get this. Like I really, really gotta get this because I really want to pass this class. I really want 180. I don't want no hundred. I don't want no 140. I don't want no 150. I don't want no 160. 
I want all 180 points. That's really what I want. I want the beak 180. Cause that would allow me to finish my class with an 87. I want a 180. To go from a 75.56, you guys, to a 180 would just like make my day. It would make my spring break. So I'm trying to get 180 points. I'm trying to get the max points. I'm not down, y'all. If I look down, I'm not down. I'm just a nervous wreck. <laughs> but thank you guys for listening to this rant. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for liking my videos. Thank you guys for talking to me in my comments. Thank you guys for being who you are. I love, love, love you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you are new. And I will see you guys in my next video.